dive a little bit deeper into editing tonight using Lightroom. We're going to use some masking techniques. And uh, we got some football, we got some volleyball, we got some soccer, and probably about 10 photos we're going to dive deep into. And if we have any, any more time, I've got some basketball photos from last year that I'd like to edit again. Just kind of have a little fun with those and see what we can do with. Let's get Lightroom fired up. It's all fired up. Woohoo! No more lag. See, that's good. I like that when there's no lag. This is really weird using my OBS. Right now, YouTube says it's not picking up my stream, but yet I'm streaming. <laughs> Too funny. All right, what do we got going on? Let's do this. Okay, we got a football image we're going to start off with. So it's taken out of Jamboree at the beginning of the season. And have some fun. Go to the develop module right here. So what we're going to do here, we're going to try and isolate the two players you see from the background even more than what they are. Uh, this was shot at f5 6.3 so yeah this is with the uh the sigma 100 to 400 millimeter lens using the sony a7 IV. so there's not a lot of separation in the background there's plenty for most people but we're going to see what happens if we uh do some masking techniques so first off we're going to crop down a little bit let's just get the action going and what you're going to notice is i'm not using the usual rule of thirds this is called diagonal now, I like to use this sometimes because a lot of times the players, they aren't standing straight up. You know, they're like this. They're at an angle like these two football players are. So it kind of gives you a little guideline. You can kind of place them along this angle. You can see they fit nicely on the angle. And you can if you use O on a Windows desktop. You can go through different ones. Got that one. You've got the, that's your modified rule of thirds. Got that one, which is really cool, but I don't like using it for sports. Or if you're going to be printing, this gives you a good look at what the printing's like. But we're going to go back to the diagonal. Yeah, I just went past it. Hang on. Getting all excited. There we go. All right. So we got him cropped in. I'm going to have this guy in there because I don't want to end up cutting off his arm. This guy in the black jersey. So we're going to start there. And you can see there's a separation between the background. A little bit of separation. Uh, we can do more though. So first, let's let's just do a basic edit, what we normally do. Like for this one, since we're at, what are we at? ISO uh, 6400. Let's go ahead and add a little bit of noise reduction. Not a lot, just a little bit. Smooth it up a little bit. Not going to worry about the color today. So we always know I don't like highlights. We're going to drop that up, right? Let's get back to the exposure. That's what I mean. Let's jump up, uh, let's grab some exposure there. A little less on the highlights that drops the sky in the background a little bit and then let's get some uh see like in this one if i drop the shadows to bring out the uniform you know the background darkens up which is nice then we got a little bit of texture you know and that would probably be good enough for just a really really quick edit no not going to use any gaussian blur nope not at all you'll see what we're going to do just hang on hang on this is it's exciting stuff you're going to love this so that would there be a nice, quick, basic edit. Now let's dive just a little bit deeper. So go here, we're gonna start all over again. Go back down and do a quick edit. Get around the little diagonal lines there, which is nice because your eye is still drawn to the football right there. And you got his eyes, too many his eyes are closed. Man, I'm gonna talk to his coach. Okay, so when we do our basic edits again, we're gonna bring up the exposure. Drop the highlights a little bit, a little texture, and then we had a little noise reduction, right? Okay, now watch this. Actually, I wanna move him just a little more. So what we're gonna do next, you go right up here. This is the masking. You can click up here, do Shift plus W. And then you do a select subject, and what it's gonna do is it's gonna pick the two football players, which is really cool. But now what you can do is this, you go up here, Subject one, and you're going to invert this. So now, as you can see, the football players are separated from the background. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be editing the background. Not going to be destructing what we did with football players. We're just going to be editing the background. Now watch what this does. I'm going to drop the exposure. Beep. 
And you can see now we're making it darker. And you can you can mess around with it when you do this. You can go really dark. Like if we took it way down, that might be just a little too much because then you're kind of losing some of the atmosphere. So you can bring it up a little bit more. And then what you can do is you can add a little contrast to it. And of course you have your shadows. You could drop them down a little bit more if you wanted. I still want some of the texture, not all of it. And then I think that's it. I think that's all I have to do with this. And so if you do a comparison, you can see they pop a little more. They're separated from the background a little bit more than they were a second ago, which I think is pretty cool. And also, again, doing this doesn't take too much time to do. And then if you ever wanted, you can remove the invert and work on the fo football players themselves again. I see no reason to do that. So we're just going to keep it like that. Bang. Pretty cool, huh? All right. So let's move on to another football one I've got here. Once again, we're going to start with our little crop. Now you have to make the decision. Do you want this football player in the black over here to be in this image? What do you think? Should I leave him in there? If I come in too, I could go to here and then just isolate him. But if I crop in too much, so we just got him by himself now. We have a choice, but I think, I think I want to leave him in there just for some fun. Let's do a little demonstration here too. And let's give him just a little more room back that way. And up the exposure. This was an ISO 5000, so there's going to be a little bit of noise in there, maybe. So, and come down to some noise reduction, just a little bit, just a little bit, not a lot. Don't we get too crazy? Drop low highlights. We drop some shadows, and again, we can go up here. Select our subject. Now, let's probably let's see if it picks both of them. It's probably just going to pick the white uniform. Oh, it picked part of him too which is really weird and bizarre. So we can invert that and then do the same thing. And you can see how he's separated from the background a lot more now. So it gives you a good idea of what's going on. So there he is inverted. So then you got a little more separation. It's like you're just right there running along the side. It's like I was right there with him. Oh, wait, I was. Yeah, I like having the opponent in there too. It kind of guys just a little more to the image. Again, we can take a look at the, at the before and the after. Hey, sweet smell Lorraine. Hey, thanks for joining me. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, sometimes you can mask you know, the subject's face and a little bit more to kind of bring some of the, some of that out a little bit. But again, you know me, I don't like spending too much time on my images, but sometimes I do go a little bit deeper like this. But you can even see this one here, you know, his mask is a little bit brighter. He's just nice, nice and separated. I like that separation. It's pretty nice. So now let's move into volleyball. All right, Sean, volleyball. We got some volleyball stuff going on here. So this one we're going to crop in. So I just want this part. I don't need her jumping. I can go even a little bit tighter. Give her a little bit of room in the front because that's the way she's going to be hitting the ball. And come down a little bit more. There we go, right there. Let's just do that for today. And again, yeah, you got a little exposure. You got a little contrast. You can drop some highlights if you want. So the background is so bright. This gym is just kind of crazy. A little bit of texture. Do my usual basics. More fast. Actually, let me show you something else you can do. Let's go back a little bit. Some days when I really want to take my time. Let's do the crop again. I hold down alt and I'll go over to the blacks. Black slider. 
And what you do is you move the slider to where the blacks are just starting to show in, just starting to creep into the image. So there you can see them creeping in now. And you do the same thing with the whites. You just want them just slowly to be showing up. If you want to get even more precise, you can do something like this. So that's set up now. I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of noise reduction, just a little bit on this one. The problem I don't like about noise reduction, sometimes people get carried away and they'll take it way up there and it just looks, it looks unnatural. It looks too smooth. Like a little grit, you know that, a little texture, a little grit. All right. Yeah, it is a super quick feature in Lightroom. Because, I mean, you could drop it into Photoshop, really get into the masking and just do some different stuff, but, you know. Come on, there we go. Now, right there, see, it picked her out. So what we're going to do is invert that again. Nice little invert. Now, in this case, it's probably going to affect the ball just a little bit, but we can take care of that later. So again, we come in, we can drop that exposure. And you can see how it's making her jump from the background even more. But it's, again, if you go too much, you can see it creeps into the face line. Kind of messes things up a little bit. So you got to be kind of careful with this. So you can drop it a little bit, but sometimes you can add a little contrast, which helps it as well. Get some little shadows to kind of get rid of the people in the background. And let's see, let's do a little... That's all we need to do with that. I, yeah. Then again, you can see the before and the after shot. Yeah, Sean, I don't, I don't mind softening the photo a little bit, but kind of takes away from the image if you get too carried away. Now, this one, you see the ball's a little dark, so what we can do, we can create a new mask. We'll go down to a brush. I can pick up the ball. And just pick the ball out, go down to the exposure, and I can lighten that up. Oop, don't want to get too carried away. And kind of bring it back just a little bit. I could really mess with this if I wanted. I just don't know how much I want to mess with it. And I can move that around to wherever I want it to be. So we'll just put it, let's put it more on the, along the top of the line. So we brought some of it back in and I could really play with it even more and bring more of the ball out, but that right there is good. People will like that. Alrighty, what do we got next? Oops. Don't you open up on me? So let's go to, let's go another volleyball one. I kind of like this shot here. Jump in just a little bit right there. Let's go ahead and just do just a little bit of a, a little bit of noise reduction on this one too. It's not really bad. ISO 5000, it's not terrible. We can bring up the, uh, the exposure looks just a little bit off on that one. We'll jump that up a little bit. Drop those nasty highlights. You guys know I don't like those highlights. Kind of annoying. Okay, so we got a good basic image we're working with. Then we go back. Do the mask, select the subject again. Come on, there you go. And then we invert it. And with this one, since her hand is on the ball, she the mask is picking up everything that we need. And we can go back again, drop the exposure some. Kind of darken it up back there. And again, if you go too far, it's like, okay, what's going on here? I mean, someone might actually like that image. But I want to see some of what she's doing. A little contrast. We'll take a look at these again. And there you go. Yeah, the colors are looking good. Um, the Sony a7 IV, I'm finding... I've had some other Sony's and the colors were okay on it, but this Sony a7 IV really reproduces the color. That's how I remember it at the gym. It looked that good. But now you can see the difference kind of you know, pops a little more, brings them away from the background a little bit. So they're not just 
bleeding in and you're not paying attention to the guy in the background quite as much. When I look at this image, I see here, but I also see this guy. Now I don't notice him near as much as I did before, which is kind of nice. All right, I think I got a couple more volleyball ones. So I know we have some volleyball fans out there. All right, so we'll do the usual crop. Got my angles. You can see the angle here kind of has this little angle. It kind of follows that line just nicely. I'm going to put her over here because the ball is going to be going this direction, the way she's hitting it, obviously. Do some of our basic edits. I'm going to bring that up a little bit, get rid of those highlights. Uh, I'm not going to put any noise reduction on this. This one look, looks really clear. Nice and clean. Okay, so we go back up. We're going to select our subject. Come on. Stop talking back to me. And we're going to invert again. Which again separates her from the background. Then we can drop this down. This works really good on this image. I've tested it. It does a really, really good job. And we're going to create a new mask. And if you really wonder what you could do, I don't really want to do it now. I'll show you in a second here, but see, if we can go back up here. Get the ball. I probably should have went a little wider, but that's okay. See, I can kind of lighten the ball up just a little bit too, so it doesn't look like it's quite as separate. Just spend a little more time making it look even better. But for most people, most of the clients you might run across, parents who might want the same age kids, they're not going to notice much. They're going to say, oh, hey, that looks cool. I like that. But you could also do like a radio gradient or a linear gradient and kind of really make it go from a light to a dark or dark to light, which is kind of fun. All right, let's take a look at these two images. You can see the difference in them right away. It's got a little spot right here on the fingers, which I could go back in, do a little bit of work on. But it's not bad. It's not bad. Something pretty cool. Something fun to, if you ever use in Lightroom, it's something you might want to dive into and think about. Okay, so let's do another one here. Beep, beep. We're going to go, let's go really tight on this one. Ooh, whoa, Horizon's off on that one. That's crazy. Yeah, so this one, we're just going to jump just really right deep into it. You realize those highlights? It doesn't really need it. Well, just a little noise reduction. Cause I know people like noise reduction, you know, a little bit of smoothness going in. Exposure can go up just a little bit and let's go ahead and do the mask once more. There we go. And you can see on this one, it didn't pick up the ball. So we can always go in later and do that. So we invert this as usual. Drop down the exposure. Go ahead and create another mask. And this one, I selected more of the ball. So I can just do just a little bit in there to kind of make it look like it's more in line with her than it was before. Now this technique doesn't work on every image. Yeah, I know my horizon was off just a little bit though. Just a little bit. It happens. I think on this one, I went from the back line and had to come up to the, went from the back line to the center over to her. And I was like going, boom, boom, you know, you get a little, okay. My horizon's off sometimes. <laughs> Not too often though. So let's have a little fun. Let's move to some football now. This one. So on this one, this was a game I shot using settings suggested by the pros and YouTubers. And if you watch that stream, it was all about auto ISO, which you can see this was auto ISO and it's not quite right. On this one, I don't really have to crop it, but I think I'm going to a little bit. 
let's just isolate it to him and the players. I want to have, there we go like that. So we got the official just talking to the kids. Get rid of the highlights as usual. Oops, get back over here. Let me get rid of that for you guys. ISO 160, do not have to add any type of noise reduction, reduction at all on this one. I think I'm going to sharpen it just a little bit, though. Looks like that should be just a tad sharper. Not much. And remember, when you bring in sharpness, you might bring in a little bit of noise into your image. But at an ISO of 160, not going to happen. So I think that's looking pretty good. And truthfully, the background's blown out enough because I was just a few feet away from the official when I took this one. It's one of those advantages of having like a press pass and just walking right out there with the officials. They like me. They do. But just for fun, let's create a mask. So you can see now the current mask is on them. So if I wanted, I could actually just isolate them right now and I could even do you know, a little more editing with them if I wanted but there's no need to. So then we're going to go to an invert. And it picks up the background and I can just drop it even more. And again, the question is how far do you want to go? Obviously that just doesn't look natural. That looks wrong. So let's just drop it just a little bit. Not worry about that. Let's do this. I don't even see these don't have to worry about texture or anything unless you really want to blur it out even more. So you don't have to worry about the highlight. Even highlights make a little difference, nothing major. Well, that's the two images we end up getting. I use ISO maybe 2% of the time. Auto ISO. That's about it. Well, like on this image now, you throw a little mask on it. You can see how they, they pop a little bit more off the screen separates them even they're already separated plenty but i darkened it a little bit more and just kind of makes them show up a little bit better now i will use auto iso since we're kind of talking about that i've been at games say uh what would they be like soccer games or softball games outdoor stuff obviously <laughs> it's where them um, there may be some clouds in the sky partly cloudy so you have like part of the field may be sunny um, down like uh, maybe where the catcher's at, where the batter is now. It's darker because of the clouds or maybe there's some trees and the sun's at a nice angle and the, you got the shade and then sunny as you're moving along. Those instances, I might use auto ISO. Not always. I might. Usually not. <laughs> not an auto ISO fan. I know, guys, some people live with it. They, li they live auto ISO. All right, let's do another image, all right? Let's do some fun cropping. I'll come right on in. I'm going to get him. This is one of those fun ones. What do you want to do? What type of crop would you like? What crop do you want? Do you want all three of them in the game, in the picture? Or shall you get rid of, you don't want to just get rid of this guy, right? Because that puts too much back here unless you do a custom crop. But you want him in there. So, you know, just for fun, let's just put them all in there. Because maybe, maybe this parent might want the picture of number 23. They might go, hey, that's my kid. Uh, so this one, ISO of 8,000, you can see there's a little bit of noise coming in. Let's go ahead and soften it just a little bit. A little bit of noise reduction. Not much. See, just, just a little, just a little. Don't have to get too carried away. Exposure actually looks pretty good. Um, you know me, get rid of the highlights. This one, I think the skin tones are slightly off, but they're not terrible. Uh, I think we'll go ahead and just keep that since that's not the main purpose of tonight for right now. All right, let's do another mask. Who's excited? Who's excited to do another mask? Well, I am. I don't care if you guys are or not. I am. All right, we go to the invert. You can see how that just immediately, you can see exactly what you're going to be editing. Now this image, what you will notice is like right through here in his right arm, it's picking that up as well. 
a couple little spots here. And that's when you go in and you, you dive in maybe even deeper and really mess with the stuff, mess with everything. But you can notice it doesn't make too much difference in this image. And this one, I don't have to do very much either because it's already pretty dark in the background. So I'd probably leave it at that. So you can see it's just a little bit, not a lot, but it makes them stand out a little bit more against that background, which is what we like. We like that. All right, I got a couple more. All right, so we got this guy here. And these are all the raw files. I'm not doing this with JPEGs. I'm doing this on the raw files. This one, we're going to go, oh, man. And see, look, he's got his foot back there. So you know what? <laughs> I'm just going to get rid of it. So let's give a little room. We're going to do a custom crop on this one. But again, you can see how the angles are coming right through here. You got an angle through his elbow, right through the waistline. And this is right on his leg. So this actually works pretty good. Now, in some instances, you may not want to do a custom crop because I may throw off it in the printing. If you actually print this image out, it might throw the dimensions off just a little bit, not much. All right, so what do we got going on? We're at 6,400 ISO. Let's go ahead and just add just a little bit of noise reduction. ka -chink, right there. See, again, if you go too much, it just looks so soft. It just doesn't look natural. But if you bring it back a little bit, you can do that. Exposure is actually pretty good. I'll leave that, get rid of the highlights. Not many highlights on this one. They're looking pretty good. And we jump into another invert. I shoot sports in raw and JPEG. I do both. So there are some times when I need to bring something out. See, like this, this one's not going to work really good. There are some times I need the raw image to bring out certain aspects of the image that yeah, I can't do in a JPEG file. You can see in this one, it's not going to work quite as good because it's picking up some of him as well. But you can still bring him down a little bit and kind of separate him from the background a little bit more. Doesn't do a lot on this image. Like I said, doesn't always do stuff. But that's when you'd go in even more and you could do like a radio or another type of mask. Even if you just want to brush it in. But you guys know me, I'm all about speed. <laughs> but I thought you might be interested in diving a little bit deeper into editing. All right, so let's go to... I threw this photo in here because I had fun editing this last time when I did soccer. I just want to edit it again. <laughs> it's just a fun image. I really like this official. And we're going to keep the flag in there. ISO 160, definitely don't need any noise reduction, right? Right? Right. Exposure's not even bad. We'll drop it just a little bit because I want to make this guy look like a like a tough guy. He's got his cool tattoo showing. So we're going to add us some contrast and a little texture. Why don't we dehaze it just a little bit? Now what we're going to do, we're going to start losing that. So let's bring some shadows out. Let's try to get him this nice rough, rough look. And since we can do it, let's go ahead and add some sharpening. Let me go back here a little bit. I mean, it's plenty sharp, but let's add even more sharpening to it. Would it work with JPEGs? You know what? We can find out. I've got some JPEGs coming up. We can see how well it works. I know the answer already, but we'll do it anyway. All right, so let's do this too. Let's have a little fun with this one. I'm going to adjust his little uniform there. I think it's a little too red. So let's drop some luminance into it or drop the luminance. Make it a little darker. Yeah. This guy's looking great. I like how, I like how this is looking. This is so great. Editing can be so much fun. He has such a great look to him. Okay. Again, it's perfect. It's just picking up him. So if we do the invert, 
Yeah, that's going to be great. So then we're going to drop that exposure. And we're just going to make him really stand out. Now we're losing a little bit down here. That's okay. I'm fine with that. Let's see if I can. Can't quite get it to do what I want. That's okay. So now we got the before and after. I really need to print this one out. He looks so tough. This is great. So much fun. So let's do this. <laughs> there we go. How's that? Nice and crazy. I like this one. It's one of my, my favorites that I took that day shooting soccer. Right, so now speaking of soccer, let's mess with this one right here. A little bit, I got a little bit tighter on this one. Now, again, the problem with this day was the sun was setting. So you can see the sun's right on their face. So just kind of coming at that big, sharp angle. Which, if you saw the soccer editing, I kind of like because it gives you a little more dramatic look. But it also can really mess with you. So we're going to pull out some shadows on this one. That looks fine. Let's not mess with that. Skin tones being a little bit off is fine because we're in the golden hour. All right, Sean, take off when you have to. I know you're a busy, busy man. No worries. All right, let's jump into another mask. I'll probably only be here another 20 minutes or so. You can see it separates them nicely, so then we go back up here. That's when we just kind of do that. That's, don't you have to really do any more from that? Does just a little bit more, just a little bit to kind of make them separate from the background. And one more soccer. Well, this is one where you can see they are not they're not separated from the background very much. But we're gonna see what we can do about that. Do our basic edits, just kind of bring them out. A little bit more don't need to do that a little more sharpening all right let's so run invert it hey just leave it like that it looks kind of cool now this one here i can darken it and this one will separate them a lot and you just have to decide how much you want to go. Just by messing with things. That's probably good enough. So you go from this low dark picture to where they're not even separated. You got this one. It's a little better. There's a little more separation. Still not a lot though. Let's do a little bit more. Just a little bit more. You got the sun outlining them perfectly. Voila. It's like magic. It's like a magic wand. Okay, so next, since we got a few more minutes yet, let's jump into, let me find the folder. Oh, you want to know if this would do, how this would work on JPEG. So let's do that real fast. Let me go to my library. Um, not those ones. Let's pick a. Oh, this is raw. Okay, so maybe I lied. Maybe I don't have any JPEGs right here.
may have to do that another time. Here, I know what we can do. I know what we can do. Let's bring some in, shall we? Go up to our photos. We get a uh, photos. Let's go here, go here. I'm not seeing it. There they are. All right. So I have the same photos we did in the, um, same game, same volleyball game. Uncheck. Let's grab this one. Import. It's a cool shot there too. All right. So you want to see if it works on JPEGs. Do it real fast. Mask, select, select your subject. Yeah, it doesn't compress them much at all. Drop the exposure. And there you go. Just did the same thing with the JPEG. It's all nice. It's all sharp looking. Great. Yeah, it's nice. So yes, you can do it with the JPEG. All right, I got about 15 more minutes. So what I want to do, I'm going to open up some basketball, old basketball photos. So let's close that right there. We're going to have some fun with some basketball images. Now these are JPEGs. You're welcome, Sean. Have a good rest of your night. I know it's getting kind of late for you. Try to get to bed. Yeah, back in the mask days. So we're going to have just some little fun with these. We're going to use the Windows photo app. I'm just going to jump in real fast and just do some quick edits. Obviously, these guys pretend to be from ESPN. So I'd probably go right there. And then you go up here and you go, Bo-dink! the magic wand. It's all set. It's done. Look at that. Look at that. Now, one thing I wish I could do with this is sometimes you do need a little bit of noise reduction and you can't quite do it. Well, you can't do it with this program. That's why you have Lightroom and all those other ones, right? So you can drop the highlights a little more. Just go right there. We can go like that. Come on, move on, move on. Hey, I asked you to move on. It was kind of annoying. Let's bring it back over here. Let's find something. Ooh, these ones. These could be fun. These are the ones that were taken. You can see they just turned on the spotlight. And I was there with the local reporter. And he wasn't able to do anything with these images. Well, he couldn't even take the photos, the images. Come on. Come on. All right, give me a hard time here. Maybe we'll do these tonight. Maybe not. Might be a short stream tonight. Come on. All right, start again. But the image that you're looking at right here, turn off the lights, put a spotlight on. This was the home team coming out. Local reporter was there. He had his camera up ready to take photos. As soon as they turned out the lights, he put his camera down. It was just too much low light situation for him. He couldn't quite handle it. Hey, there we go. Um, 
let's do I want to flip it. Keep it a three two. It's kind of the go-to ratio for shooting. Hit the magic wand button and see what happens. Being a little slow on these JPEGs. That's crazy. It's having to work too hard. It's thinking too much. Or it's just being a pain in the butt. Come on. There we go. We got it. And this one, I will bring up the exposure just a little bit more. And I'm going to bring up some shadows, which isn't going to affect us too much. Oop, get back up there. There we go. All right, and there we go. Save a quick copy of that one. Okay, eighty two. Let's try. Which one do I want? Not that one. Where's there's one I want? I like. I like. There it is. There it is. That's the one. It's got a little bit of attitude with it. Quick little crop, the magic wand. And if you do want to help me out and support this channel, just put a link in there where you can Buy me a cup of coffee. Keep me awake at night. We have some shadows on this one. Don't have to do a lot because this kind of has a little more atmosphere to it. You kind of like that. Contrast down. Let's get rid of low clarity. Don't need all that in there. Call that good. Right, let's just take a quick look at these. I'm not going to go through every single image in here. Let's just pick a few out that look fun. Jump balls. Look at the jump balls. There we go. Let's see. I like that one because you can see her face. So let's do this one. Yeah, everybody's do how's everybody doing tonight? My photo app is kind of being slow this evening. Now again, you have a choice. You could do this so you get them jumping, because I know some of the kids like to see how high they can get off the ground. I think on this one, we're just gonna come in really tight like that. Real tight. And hit the magic button. Magic wand. Oh no, oh no. It would be some good coffee. Actually, it's a coffee drink. I'm not a big coffee fan, but I like the, um, like the, well, they call it a Java chip granita that I really like. I believe if you want to talk coffee, you should talk to Elfig in the chat here. Figgy, she really likes her coffee. Coffee, coffee, coffee. She drinks it all day long, I believe. A little bit of clarity in this one. And that looks good. Good coffee. What do you have good coffee? Sweet sweet um sweet smell of rain. You got some good coffee? Some good recommendations. All right, let's do a couple more. That one's kind of fun. Yeah, we'll do this one here. Yeah, frappe. I like a frappe. Or a frap. 
whatever they're called. Let's put some chocolate in it and I'm good to go. Go tight on this one. And there we go. Black Rifle Coffee. Hmm. Sounds interesting. Goodbye highlights. I don't really need much clarity in this one. I'm actually going to drop it down and soften it up just a little bit. Sixteen. Okay, what else we got? What else we got in this next few minutes? We already have her on that side. Let's uh, move along. Oh, here we go. Not a great one. There's no real friction in there. Yeah. Yeah, the ball came directly at my face in this image. Directly at my face. Did I move out of the way? No, I stayed right there in the shot. Missed me by that much, <laughs> by a couple inches. Nice little free throw shot. And in all these images, I am sitting on the floor. Getting as low as I could get. So Black Rifle Coffee, where do you get it? Do you have to order it from them? Let's find out. Black Rifle Coffee. All right, let's uh let's bring this in a little bit tighter, shall we? We'll go for the full body shot on this one. Just black, uh, five alarm. They have a five alarm medium roast, thin blue line, coffee or die. <laughs> yeah, they've got a interesting sounding coffees. Hey, there we go. Go back. All right, where were we? Again, sidetracked by talking about coffee. I have another friend who streams. He gets sidetracked talking about food. Any type of food. His stream always goes to food. So when he's on Twitch streaming, it's food always comes up. All right, let's have a little fun with this one. Drop the highlights. Get rid of the clarity a little bit. It kind of does a little noise reduction. Color looks a little off, I think. Looks a little orange. Let's drop the uh, drop the color down just a little bit. Yeah, all kinds of different coffees. Nice. I don't think we have that around here, though. And of course, uh, Figgy's looking at the coffees. <laughs> Bass Pro Shop. We've got one kind of close by. Okay, where was it? You're distracting me there now. You're distracting me. If you have any more exciting images. We've done one like that, done one like that. That's no good. This is a different one here. So I wish her, her arm is just covering her face a little bit, which isn't terrible. That would be better. Which let's just edit this one, yeah. Let's just do this one. Wish she still had the ball just barely in her fingertips. That would be great. Coffee's never a bad thing, right? Yeah, I wish the ball was a little bit lower. That's okay. We can live with that. Hit the magic wand. Cleans that one up nicely. Look at that image. Looking good. Ball's got a little graininess to it. Um, where it is? It's not showing up. Can't look at my settings. Oh, that's weird. 
Yeah, so the uh, Windows Photo app does have a couple little bugs every once in a while. It doesn't like to uh, show everything. A variety sample. <laughs> a variety sample. Hint, hint. What's that? What's that mean? You want me to get that for you? I'm trying to get my own donation so I can get me some coffee drinks and you want some. Do your own stream. All right, what else we got? Let's do a couple more images before I take off here. If I haven't said it, thank you everybody for joining me tonight. It's always a blast to have you guys to talk to you. I'd like to see something that's more like that. No, not that. Oh, here, let's do this. I do know. Okay, you see a difference between the images here on the closeness, the proximity. Right, you're looking at these first few were shot with a 50 millimeter lens. And it's a nice lens. It's the Sony 50 millimeter 1.8 portrait lens. Doesn't work real great on a full frame camera. It's mostly for crop sensor, but it does a good job. And then, boom, see how close I am now? This is the Tamron 70 to 180. It just pushes you right in there. And you can see the difference in the images. They actually look a little better. Oh, here we go. Let's um, edit this one. She doesn't look too happy there. Get nice and tight. I'm going to give them a little bit of running room on this side as much as I can since they're moving that direction. The magic button. Look at that. Woo! What an image. That's nice. All right. Drop the clarity because that seems to soften it just a little bit. It gets rid of some of that noise. Yeah, it's uh, pretty nice there. Bring a little more color into this one. Yeah, there we go. All right, two more images. Let's do two more images. I'm going to call it a stream. We'll call this a stream. Let's get down here. I wanted to do, see if I can find it. Maybe not. This is one I actually really like. She's kind of looking up, got some stuff going on here. Let's do this one real fast. See, in this one, you don't really have to have all of her in the image, just enough. Drop the clarity a little bit. I think the color is just a tad off. Or if we want to have a little fun, this could be like a nice black and white image. Then you could bring the clarity back up. You could also go up here, grab you a little bit of contrast. Drop those highlights. Shadows, yeah, it depends on your taste. I'd like my images a little bit darker, so I'd probably go ahead and just go right there. All right, we'll save that one. All right, one more. One more image. Um, it also does raw files, if I remember correctly. Let's double check. Let's make sure. We can do it really fast. We'll take this one again. Yeah, so you can do raw files as well. I think it's a little bit slower on the raw files, but yeah, it still works on raw files. I was actually reading an article about black and white and the article was saying black and white. No, <laughs> you should never, when you have all this color in the world, you should never go to black and white. Do I agree with that? Heck no. I'm not going to agree with that. All right. I said one more image. Let me get back where I was now. 
let's go to here we go all right let's jump back in here again Looking for an image in this game. I want to get your guys' opinion on it. I'm not seeing the image there. That's okay. We did that one. We did that. So we need to go to one of these right now. So let's do... Uh, let's do let's do this one. All right, let's be our last image. Come on, let's go. Yeah, if you get a chance, yeah, do some black and white stuff. I do have a Discord if you ever want to join that, and you can share some of your images. We we love seeing images. I really do like a little more artistic ones sometimes. Chica, Chica, Magic Wand, do your thing. Or be slow and don't do your thing. There it goes, there it goes. Color looks fine, like that's about the exposure in a little bit. Let's do a little bit of shadow work. Drop the clarity. All right, and there we go. Alrighty, that is the last image of this evening. Hope you guys uh, learned maybe just a little bit. If you have any questions, obviously just uh, send me some emails. Uh, jump into the Discord, like I said. I believe, let me find it here. Let me throw you a link in case anybody is interested. Come on. Because you might be. You never know. We had a pretty good group in the Discord. Sharing photos. You know, some of them we do critiques on. Some we just share and talk about them. Come on, highlight it. There, there is a link to the Discord. And also, if you haven't done so yet, let me throw this link in there as well. No, don't do that. I also do have a free guide on how to shoot sports in low light situations. You can pick that up for free. It doesn't cost you a thing. It doesn't even cost you a coffee. It's all for you guys. That's the way it goes. So yes, thank you everybody for joining me. Appreciated it. Again, trying to do streams every Monday night. I do some editing. Maybe one of these days we'll just chat. Maybe we can all get into Discord and just kind of talk and just see what everybody's got up. See if anybody has questions. Hope we can all help you with. So for now, I'm going to call it an evening. Thank you for joining me once again. And don't forget, grab your cameras and get out and shoot.